Oh, Jesus. Alright, hello, my name is Viva Wolf, and welcome to this Forts tutorial. Today we are going to be talking about moving your core, when you should and when you shouldn't. So right now I'm loaded into Zigger, Ziggernaut, Z I didn't say that right, but oh well. I'm loaded into Ziggurat 4v4, and I'm going to first off just show you guys how to move your core, and then we're going to talk about when you should and when you shouldn't. So the basics of moving your core is you're going to attach two ropes from your core up to the ceiling and then you're just going to sell off everything around it and that is going to swing the core backwards and we're just going to demonstrate that right here. Let's go ahead and sell off the machine gunner, sell off all the bracing in the back and directly adjacent to the core. And that will allow the core to mm, that will allow the core to swing backwards, and then we'll just attach some more ropes to secure it in place. And if we want to, we can even swing it again like so. And then if we do another rope, the core is now stuck in place right there, and we can reattach to our original base like so. And so now we have all of this extra space where our core would have been that we can build defenses and even a nice weapons platform where ordinarily we'd be putting armor and laser shields. And so now we can have our core well defended, we can have room for more heavy weapons, and it's just generally a good idea to move your core if you're in a large like 4v4 and you just want some extra space. Okay, so now we're on 4v4, also known as Rat Hole which has become famous because another popular YouTuber named Incurious Gaming has found a way to cheese the map and basically lower his core as far down as he wants and basically the only way the other people, the other side, the other team can kill his core is if they have a perfectly aimed tier 3 that basically does a perfect arc up and then back down. So basically if you lower your core it's going to be very very hard for the enemy team to defeat you. So we're just going to do the same thing as last time, and we're going to go ahead and attach our core at two points right here. But uh, this map it's a little harder because if you sell off things in the wrong order, your core will end up going and hitting one of the sides. So we're actually just going to try to prevent that by putting down a couple more ropes, making it more difficult for us to screw up the selling off process. We're going to go ahead and sell off this machine gunner as well. And just to get back as many res as much resources as possible. Of course, we have infinite because it's sandbox. But if we didn't have infinite resources, we would be able to sell off all of that stuff to get more resources. Oh, Jesus! All right. So take two. Last time we didn't quite add enough ropes, and we sold stuff off a little improperly but we're gonna go ahead and make sure we do sell stuff off properly this time let's go ahead and get rid of that support that support I'm gonna get rid of that machine gun and we'll go ahead and sell that off because now it's even on both sides so if we sell off this stuff in the middle we should slowly uh, frustrated we should slowly but surely see the core drop, hopefully pretty evenly. And that should be it, it should break off as soon as both those are gone. And in fact it did, it, we came really close over here and it's gonna fall. And okay, we managed to save it. Honestly, I thought we were gonna lose it again, but Let's go ahead and make sure it's secure. And that's pretty low. You could theoretically lower it down a little more, but I think that's good. So now if we just go ahead and reconnect to our base, as you can see, now we have all of this area to ourselves and we can build nice heavy weapons up here and maybe even add a tier three in the back if we were gonna actually play this out. But our core is now safe and sound. So this is a great map to do 
the core moving on. So now let's look at a situation where you wouldn't want to move your core. Right, so now we're on the map Catacomb, which is a 1v1 map, and I generally don't like moving the core in a 1v1 map anyways, just because you lose some time and some resources while you're moving your core, so it's generally better to do it on a larger map like a 2v2 or a 4v4, but besides that, say we wanted to move the core on this map, we really have a couple of options. One is to move it straight back, one is to move it down, and one is if you manage to hoist your core, which is a whole other level of core manipulation, we could try to move it up here, maybe even behind this. But the reason why I would strongly not suggest to not move your core on this map is say you got the core down to here. So it's now behind this uh, ground block, so they aren't going to be able to shoot it directly, and it's going to be really hard for them to hit this. But they can take out take it out indirectly because if you manage to lose all of this part of your base, the core is just going to fall either into this piece of ground or just off into the back like this little piece of wood is right here. So you wouldn't want to put it down here. You wouldn't really want to hoist it up for the same reason. The only real benefit to move your core on this map would be if you moved it back to maybe about right here. It'd just give you a little bit of extra room. But as I said before, in a 1v1 map, it's much harder to move your core without the enemy getting a significant advantage. Just because in a 4v4 map, if one person loses a little bit of time, it averages out to where it doesn't really matter that much. But in a 1v1 map, losing 30 seconds of your time just moving your core can mean everything and will probably cost you the game. So the last thing I wanted to mention real quick is that if you're doing a larger map like battleships that is co-op, since uh, your other teammates are going to be taking care of the economy and all this stuff like that, losing time, losing your time isn't going to really impact the team at all. So if you want to try moving the core on the larger maps, especially like battleships, I encourage you to do so. The only thing is make sure you do it properly. And especially on this map, the only core I really suggest moving is the one located right here. And the only place I really suggest moving it is pretty much straight down into the base. And the way we're going to do that is we're just going to add in a couple of ropes. You might have to go ahead and move the bracing around a little bit in order to be able to actually place the ropes. But see, we have a rope right there. We're going to have a rope right there. We're going to get another rope going all the way down over right about to here. That should be good. And then we'll just do the same with that. So now if we sell off the top little bit. Now in the actual game you would try to sell off as much stuff as possible but I'm just going to go through and make it as quick as possible. Like in the actual game you want to sell off those two but I'm just trying to do this as quickly as possible. So if we go ahead and do that Let's do one more. Oh, uh, we lost one of our ropes. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's do that. And then the core should fall down right nice. Right like that. And that, we didn't quite do it the way I imagined us doing it. But we did do it successfully. And that's all that really matters. And now, as you can see, we have our core nice and hidden down here. And you can rebuild this and make it into like a weapons platform or really anything you want. You could even put economy here if you really wanted to. Actually, that'd be a bad idea, but you get the point. You can put anything you want right here. So yeah, on the larger maps, it's probably a really good idea to move your cores around if you can. But on the smaller maps, 1v1, or especially if you're not playing co-op, you're playing deathmatch, you... It's really dependent on the situation and the map you're playing on whether you want to move your core or not. All right, so real quick, I just wanted to mention my upload schedule for the future, and that is going to be on, this is supposed to be a week, like Sunday to Saturday. Yeah, you guys you guys get it, you guys are smart. So on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I'm going to be uploading actual like forts, like battles with people, like multiplayer, like 2v2, 4v4. I'll probably bring in some guest people like maybe like Bear or Declan and then 
on Tuesday and Thursday, I'm going to be doing videos like this, which is just like four strategies and like tips for new players. And then in the future, I'm going to start live streaming on Saturday and Sunday. So make sure to subscribe and come back if you want to see more awesome Forts content. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.